Hello everybody. This video is related to learning management systems. Learning objectives of this video are at the end of this video the learner will understand the definition of LMS, know different benefits of using LMS, know different platforms providing services of LMS and know features of Moodle in particular. Definition So learning management system or LMS is a broad term used to describe software tools designed to manage user learning interventions and provide access to online learning services for students teacher and administrator. It can also be considered as a software system that allows the development and delivery of educational courses using the internet as a delivery system. What are the benefits of using LMS? Now in this age, e-learning is something which is used very widely so all of us use many different kind of videos and resources sometimes we develop our own videos our own resources so the first benefit is that we can organize all our e-learning content in one location so instead of store uh, you know storing our videos and other materials at different places we can organize, we can store it at our own LMS platform. Second benefit is it provides unlimited access to e-learning materials. So our students can access the material anytime, anywhere, 24-7. Third is easily tracks learner progress and performance. So uh, it has got features like conducting quizzes, uh, assignments, exams and the marks and all other things are stored in that. So we can easily track a learner's progress and how he or she is performing. Fourth benefit is uh, quickly and conveniently expand e-learning courses. So sometimes we need to add some module or some lesson in our existing course. So in the LMS it is very easily doable. We can easily add or subtract any lesson or module from our existing courses. What are the different LMS platforms available? So there are many open source platforms like a tutor, canvas, camelo, cleroline, efront, Elias, lamps, loan kappa and moodle. There are some proprietary platforms also where we can uh, we have to pay uh, and take their services. A very famous one is blackboard learning system and there is cert point system inc desire to learn e-college Edmodo, Edunix, Ngrade, Global Scoral, and so on. Some examples of well-known LMS systems are WebCity. This is a proprietary company providing hosting or software for some universities. Blackboard is a popular learning software provider and ASP portal for education. And Moodle, of course, a free and open source software package to help educators create effective online learning communities. So now we will talk in particular about Moodle. So Moodle is an alternative to proprietary commercial online learning solutions and is distributed free under open source licenses. An organization has complete access to the source code and can make changes if needed. Moodle's modular design makes it easy to create new courses, adding content that will engage learners. So this is how the uh, interface of Moodle is. 
full form of Moodle is Modular Object Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment. Uh, now getting started with Moodle. Moodle has a modular design. So adding the activities that form a course is a simple process. Course creation privileges are assigned to the teacher. So teacher has all the rights of adding or deleting anything from a particular course. There are different layouts available. We'll talk about that in detail. Uh, we have to click turn editing on within the blank course template and then the magic begins. We can start, we can create the course. So turn this editing on and after that we have the full control over uh, what we want to do with our course, different modules are available. So what are the course management features available? So there is an assignment module which we can use to assign online or offline tasks. Participants can submit their answers or these tasks in any file format like uh, MS Office, PDF, Image, AV, etc. There is a chat module which allows the real-time synchronous communication by learners. So, uh, this can also be used. There is a choice module where instructor can create a question and a number of choices for students. The results are posted for participants to view and we can use this module to do quick surveys on subject matter. And there is a dialogue module which allows for one-to-one -one private asynchronous message exchange between instructor and student or student to student in dialogues are the private consultation workspaces. Then there are lesson modules which is important for an uh, instructor which allows instructor to create and manage a set of linked pages. Each page can end with a question. The student either chooses one answer from a set of answers and goes forward, backward or stays in the same place in the lesson. Learner are graded upon completion. This quiz module we create all the familiar forms of assessment including true false multiple choice short answer matching questions random questions numerical questions embedded answer questions with descriptive text and graphics now course structure there are three types of formats available we can have a weekly format where we can uh, define each week uh, what are the activities involved uh, we can have deadlines, some can be open. There is topics format. We can organize our content in terms of the topics and topic is not restricted to any time limit. And either we can have a social format in the all the activities are presented and organized into a single forum and this could also be used as notice boards. Then assignment module. Uh, it can be specified with a due date and a maximum grade. Students can upload their assignments. They are date stamped. Different file formats are allowed. Late, late assignments are also allowed. The amount of lateness is shown clearly to the teacher. Whole class assessment. Grades and comments provided for each assignment on one page in one form. Viewable by assigned teachers. Teacher feedback. This is appended to the assignment page for each student. Notification is sent by email. Resubmission of assignments. This can be allowed by teacher after grading for regrading. This is very important, the quiz module. Teacher can define a database of questions for reuse in different quizzes. So we can create a question bank kind of thing. Questions can be stored in categories for EG access and these categories can be published to make them accessible from any course on the site. Quizzes are automatically graded and can be regraded if questions are modified. Quizzes can have a limited time window outside of which they are not available. At the teacher's options, quizzes can be attempted multiple times and can show feedback and or correct answer. Quiz questions and quiz answers can be shuffled, randomized to reduce cheating. And questions allow HTML and images. 
there can be multiple choice questions single or multiple answers there can be short answer questions words or phrases true false type questions matching questions random questions numerical questions with a, with allowable ranges embedded answer questions close style and embedded descriptive text and graphics so these are the different types of varieties of questions which can be asked the assignment module so assignments can be viewed or downloaded teacher can attach feedback and comments notification is sent out by email and resubmissions can be granted for assignments for regrading assignments can be specified with a due date and a maximum grade students can upload their assignments in any file format to the server they are date stamped late assignments are allowed if the amount of lateness is shown clearly to the teacher for each particular assignment the whole class can be assessed on one page in one form uh i have taken some uh, material from this url for preparation of this ppt thank you